Assalamu alaikum. My name is Bashra Azom and I graduated Al Athas Training Academy with the class of 2013. I am set to graduate Wayne State University with my bachelor's in chemistry this May 2017. Um, I will also begin Wayne State University School of Medicine this fall 2017, which I'm really excited about. Um, one thing that I took from Al Athas Training Academy in my 13 years of attending that school and something that I have brought with me to undergrad and I would like to take with me to medical school and in my life in general um, is integrity. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nabintu Dubia and I am a sociology major, African American studies minor at Wayne State University. I'm a sophomore, I'm a pre-law student. Um, that's pretty much what I'm doing with my life right now. I'm also um, a community organizer with the Muslim American Society, which is MASS. Um, I've been able to do, I think, some pretty cool things at Wayne State. So, for example, I recently gave a TED Talk on the lack of feminine hygiene products provided to female inmates at, um, in Michigan State prisons. Uh, in one word, the way that I would describe ATA or the impact that it has had on my life is uh, empowering. I think that something that made ATA, always made ATA so unique was the fact that teachers and administration always give students so much room, so much autonomy to actually create things for ourselves. I also think that uh, teachers just give us the room to be creative and to actually participate in things that I don't think is always a part of like the traditional educational experience. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asim Badani. I'm 18. I'm a student here at Wayne State University. I am an alumni from Malik Ross Training Academy. Right now, at this very present moment, I'm at the very start line, at the very beginning of my journey to become a neurosurgeon. I also seek to get many minors in political science, literature, and photography to enhance my ability to become the greatest person I can become. The one thing I learned, or the one characteristic I gained from the Cross Training Academy was passion. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Hanan Azom and I'm currently a freshman at Wayne State University studying marketing. And one word that describes what ATA has done for me is presence. And what I mean by that is the teachers and all the people involved with ATA were very present and they made everyone feel very inclusive. One example of that would be having a regular conversation with Sister Nikki says she would show that she was genuinely interested in what I had to say and inspired me to continue to pursue my own passion. My name is Sireya Azam. I graduated from al Training Academy um, in the year 2002. Currently, I'm a board-certified family uh, physician with Beaumont Health. And a word that describes my experience at al um, I would say, is hard work. Uh, no matter how easy or, or how daunting a task may be, I found that with dedication and perseverance um, and hard work, um, uh, I got to where I am today. I graduated from ATA from the class of 2012. I also graduated from Wayne State University with a bachelor's degree in psychology with a distinction. I also will be attending Wayne State University's physician assistant program this upcoming May. Um, one of the things I took back from ATA was the word discipline. I believe that keeping a focus and keeping a very strong conscience in what I wanted to do with my future helped me to be where I am today. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sabir Rahman and I'm currently in my first year at Wayne State University and right now I'm in between majors. So during my time at Wayne State I've been able to uh, attend a few really cool events and I had the pleasure of even organizing one myself with the help of a few of my friends that were also graduates from ATA and essentially it was an initiative titled No Bad No Wall um, and A Wall That Trumps Hate and essentially what we did is we used one of the chalkboards at Wayne State to make um, kind of like a channel for people to vent out how they were feeling after the Trump presidency, you know, and it was really cool and a lot of people ended up coming and signing it and it was just a really nice way to get everyone together. But a word that embodies how ATA helped me get to where I am today, I think would be pace in that ATA really helped me pace myself and just make the most of every day, you know. Assalamualaikum, my name is Hassan Shahid and I graduated from Allah class in 16. Uh, I'm currently a business major and focusing in pre-law and inshallah I'll be graduating in 2020. Something that Al Ikhlas has taught me is acceptance and strength to believe in myself. My name is Nishul Rahman and I'm currently a junior at Wayne State University. I'm majoring in English honors with a minor in sociology. Uh, so outside of academic life, I'm an active 
member of the Muslim American Society, uh, the youth chapter in Detroit. Some of the things that I've been a part of are um, civic engagement workshops, and a really cool project that I'm working on right now is an art gallery in Hamtramck, exploring what it means to be distinctly and uniquely Muslim American. So a word that has really stuck with me and kind of shaped me is grit, right? So that word, I think, helps me, or that characteristic helps me accomplish tasks and do things in my life with the utmost extent, right? So with the utmost sincerity. Hi everyone, my name is Maliha. Um, I am a 2011 um, alum from Alaflas. I am also a 2016 alum from Wayne State University. Currently I'm working part-time at Helping Hand Relief and Development as a Matching Gift um, Coordinator Assistant. And I plan to start grad school this September and I will be getting my degree in clinical psychology. Uh, one word that has stuck with me throughout my years at Aleph Class and throughout my life now is passion. And I say passion because the teachers <laughs> at Aleph Class have always taught me to strive for what I believe in and don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't do, you can't do it. Question number one, where where am I um, in my life right now? So other than motherhood and being a wife, I am preparing for graduation in 24 days. Oh my God, alhamdulillah. I will be graduating the University of Michigan Flint with my bachelor's in social work. And also, alhamdulillah, I will be um, graduating with the Mason Blue um, Award. So the Mason Blue Award is the highest honor scholar award um, a student can receive here at the University of Michigan Flint, and only 13 recipients are chosen. So I am. I don't really tell people this, but um, I'm sharing this with my Olive Class family because it's, it's an honor as an ATA alumni to be receiving this award. And I will be continuing my education at U of M Ann Arbor within the number one school of social work, alhamdulillah, uh, where I'll be receiving my master's in social work. So I'll be um, specializing in clinical social work um, and I'll be attending as an African-centered social work scholar, alhamdulillah, where I'll, um, so inshallah in the future, I want to focus on spiritual psychotherapy within the Muslim community. So question number two, one word that describes what Allah class taught me. Self-determination, self-determination, self-determination. Because Allah class taught me that it starts within, that we must look within ourselves to be able to motivate ourselves. And um, it was an honor um, gaining that, gaining that self-love at Allah class, learning how to love myself as a Muslim, as an African, as a woman, motivation and determination because it started with self-determination. Alhamdulillah, thank you guys so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.